So good after lunch, everybody. Uh, I know everyone's tired trying to digest that burger, and I only have seven minutes, so we'll try to keep it high-paced. My name is Shahar Arez. I'm the CEO co-founder of a company called Stoke. And this session speaks a lot about what's happening in education, how do people gain knowledge. I'd like to look at the other side of the equation, what's happening with companies that are trying to survive and thrive in this mall where everything's moving a lot faster. It all starts with this. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen um, Mark Andreessen's article from uh, 2011 where Mark speaks about software eating up the world and what Mark was trying to say, and Mark is a very recognized um, entrepreneur, venture capitalist, and he's talking about the fact that every company today is a software company. Up until about a decade ago, maybe a little longer, we got used to the fact that software supports the business. Today, every company is ran by software, whether you're pharmaceutical, financial services, media and entertainment, whether you're a university, everything revolves around software, which is great. There's a lot that can be done. On the other end, everything is moving far faster. Once you become a technology company, Moore's rules apply, and it gets more and more complicated, exponentially growing on an 18 to 24 months basis which means every company needs now to figure out how do we cope with this pace of change? We're not used to that pace. And so there's kind of a structure to how to adopt these changes, how to get the company organized and look at the change positively, you know, get training, sharpen your skills, a lot to do with how do we get the staff to be up to date. Um, this worked well, but it stops working when things start moving a lot faster. This no longer applies to businesses today that are moving extra fast in our need of skills. Actually, the gap has led us to what we now know as the skill gap. The skill gap is the gap between the skills that companies need and, the get, and what the market has to offer from a knowledge perspective. LinkedIn now releases a monthly report about that gap, and I'm sure you can't see it's too far, uh, you're too far away, but right now there's about 4 million skills, individuals that are missing in companies, and that gap grows over 5% on a year-to-year -year basis. You can see on the right-hand side, these are the top requested skills in San Francisco Bay Area right now. Uh, there's there's 1.5 million people missing in the Bay Area to fill all positions. I heard a podcast um, two or three weeks ago. For every five software development job openings in San Francisco right now, there's one candidate, which means four don't, are not able to fill that gap. Exponential growth skill gap is leading to what is now turning into an economic black hole. Projected somewhere, can I get a different clicker or someone clicking for me? Don't have that many slides, there we go. Um, this economic black hole is projected by Accenture and the World Economic Bank to, to be equivalent of $12 trillion over the next decade lost in GDP because we're not able to fill this uh, uh, gap in skills. By the way, this is about 50% of the U.S. national debt, which took 100 years to accumulate. Why is that happening? Where did all the talent go? What's missing? What are we doing wrong? Well, part of the problem is the skills that companies need are no longer taught in classrooms. They are captured through experiences, through practice, and it is not within our organization that that experience and practice being taught or captured. It is somewhere else. Where is that knowledge and gap heading? Well, this might give us a clue. This is a graph showing where do we, uh, employees go, have gone over the past 20 years. The red line represents W-2 form. W-2 in the U.S. means schirim. Uh, uh, 1099 means uh, freelancers or osek mouche. And we're seeing a tremendous growth in the number of individuals picking a different career path, non-traditional employment, and going solopreneurship, freelancing, digital nomads, whatever that is. Millennials, Gen Y, Gen Z, who are becoming the most in the workforce over the next five years are choosing freelancing as a way of life. Right now, Gen Z making their way into the industry, 46% of them are freelancing in some capacity and choosing non-traditional employment. So the reality is that a lot of the knowledge, a lot of the skills, a lot of the experiences we're looking for 
are available, but not within our, our organization. These people do not want to work for us. Let's be honest. They don't want our processes. They don't want our uh, um, hiring processes, our performance reviews, our pay band, all the things that we've gone to uh, perfect over the past 50 years. They want a different contract with life. So um, what we do at Stoke is actually we empower organizations to think differently of the problem. Organizations have to figure out how they need to build the organizational DNA. They need to recode the organizational DNA to allow them to absorb the knowledge coming outside the company and stop focusing on trying to hire to the latest skill. You need to build an organizational DNA that's all about learning. Learning doesn't come through classroom. It comes from bringing external knowledge, capabilities, people. Fuse that knowledge into the organization, let the people go, and fuse in again new set of, of information and skills and capabilities. What we do at Stoke is actually allow every part of the organization, whether you're in engineering, marketing, admin, or whatnot, find the people you need, the skill you need, the knowledge you need, when you need it. We allow organizations to adopt an ever-learning strategy. It's not about filling the existing headcount that you need. It's about recoding how you operate, changing the mindset, and understanding you need a hybrid workforce leaning on internal strong foundation of employees, but that allows constantly to bring in external knowledge into the organization. Um, we're a management platform that allows managing this entire process from acquisition all the way through payment and uh, um, regulatory compliance, uh, uh, inventory and regulations. We allow organization to manage it with controls and, and, uh, and transparency to the rest of the pieces of the organization, legal, finance, and whatnot. We encourage more than that, we urge organizations to stop using the old methods and actually tap into talent to grow faster and survive this ever-changing world that we're going to see more moving faster over the next decade. Thank you.